I don't know if people know this, you, Tignataro, you are in the next season of Star Trek Discovery. That's correct. Which is huge. <laughs> and when I heard about this, I was thinking, oh, I can't wait to see yeah. what they do to Tig, some mm. kind of, you know, it's, yeah. it's going to be amazing. Very Star Trek. And then, um, and then it's literally this. That's it. That's just... No, <laughs> really. You look great. It's just a jacket. Huh? You look great. Looks Thank like Tom you, I think you look space. I do. <laughs> I think you look great. You look awesome. It's, it I is amazing. I'm, 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 I'm a married right. woman. <laughs> um, um, how was this experience for you? Uh, it's a blast, and the cast, uh, the producers, writers, everyone's so nice. Uh, very patient with me. I'm, I'm terrible at it, though. Why? Uh, In what way? Well, James, I don't know what I'm saying. It's the, you know, science fiction-y Star Trek stuff. Oh, the dialogue, you mean? Yeah, the right. dialogue, right. So what, you, you, you can't remember the lines or you just can't say? What it's is it? It's like I, I spend my time really going over it, and I, and I, and I'm, I, not, but I can't... I, I probably shouldn't announce this, because <laughs> CBS might fire me, but... Um, can you remember anything that your character says on the show? I can, because my wife overheard me working on my lines and she started laughing. She's like, what are you talking about? <laughs> and I was like, uh, the spaceship crashed and uh, I saved a bunch of people. So uh, this is when I find out the war's over and I turn to this creature that I have, you know, ke I've kept alive on a... I don't even know what's happening. <laughs> but... I have no idea. <laughs> turn to the creature thing and I'm like, hear that, Valentine? War's over. We're going home. And then I turn to the other people that are in spacesuits and I'm like, um, Valentine took a piece of shrapnel to the left aortic valve, needed a donor and couldn't find a transplant, so I piggybacked his heart on a dead bullion to keep it ticking. And, um... <laughs> Got a standing ovation for Mr. Star Trek himself. Himself. That's it. Yeah. I know how hard that is. It's hard. Can you remember any of your lines? No. Uh, <laughs> something about the Force? <laughs> yes. Uh, isn't that Star Wars? What? That's Star Wars, yes. isn't it? Yeah. Um, yeah, there, there's, uh, there's warping. There's uh, dilithium crystals. There's, the best um, is when you're standing there in a scene and you have to, like, pretend... Like behind the panel, you're turning <laughs> yeah. knobs and pressing buttons, and I have a hard time keeping a straight face because yeah. the whole time I'm like, right. Right. Yeah. What? "This is <laughs> I'm doing nothing. I'm doing nothing." Just and... don't make sounds. That's the worst. What do you mean? <laughs> don't... <laughs> Wait, is that what you were doing? <laughs> no. And then there was this other scene where there was a a. a uh, a cocoon. Right. And I had to, like, drop to my knees and rip it open and scream. And I was just like, what is happening right now? I was like, no! And it was just an empty cocoon. I really hope they get a scene where you're running so you really can fully do Tom Cruise. Just, just... running to a cocoon? <laughs> no! That's what we want. Reggie, do you have a question for any of our guests this evening? Uh, yes. Tonight's question goes to you. Uh, it can be for a general. I, I'm sure Bo is the one that's probably going to have the most knowledge on this. But um, in, uh, if, if molecular transportation were true and you were able to beam um, an object or a person uh, to another location uh, on a molecular level, uh, do you think when once the living being is reconstituted, uh, do you think that that is still the same uh, entity? Yeah, it's a great question. It's the old, the, the, the wooden ship argument. If, if, if a ship is replaced one board at a time, is it in fact the same ship? Well, I'll uh, take this one. All right. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> yeah, you, you, you dug it, you take it. I don't know. It's crazy, but those are actually all correct answers. It's completely correct. Please thank our wonderful guest, Tignatara, John Shaw, Bo Burnham, Flora Cash. I'm here with the music when we come back.